Hi everyone, so today I'll be going through my November bullet journal and I've decided that in these bullet journal videos that I would just add a new kind of voiceover ramble as it's happening because I got into a kind of lazy habit of just having my bullet journal videos as a draw through with music over the top which is perfectly fine but I just don't think people enjoyed them that much after like a repeated amount of times because it was happening basically all throughout this year and that's a lot of videos that are just music based. Um, so yeah I do want to add a new voiceover ramble like this all the way through where I can just chat about what's happening on the screen as it's happening so that it might be more understandable and maybe talk about the inspirations that I've had for this month or just my feelings towards the art in general and also just any thoughts that I've got related to my bullet journaling experience. I suppose you'll see what I mean like as I go through more videos but this is the first one it might be a bit here and there because it's very new to me this whole well doing a voiceover thing but yeah as you can see on the screen right now I'm just doing a watercolour painting I actually I'm not that good at painting but I do like trying and this one is very there was very little planning in this. It's inspired by a photo that I've got on Pinterest. Again, as always, everything that I mention or all my inspirations where I've got photos from and everything will be linked down below. But yeah, um, I decided to do a bit of painting this month and this sort of woodland scene is what came out. Um, <laughs> yeah, you'll have seen that I did a sort of like paint and dabbing technique because I wanted the colours to be not as bold and more subtle. And I quite like how that worked out because it meant I didn't have to do too much definition or detail in the leaves, it just kind of ended up a quite a nice dappled effect. But yeah, so as you can see I'm going into some more detail and I do add the title and a little quote in the top corner where the gap is, but that's pretty much it for this month's title page. And then for the weekly spreads I go back to the sort of collage technique that I have with photographs and like I said every photo will be linked down below even if it's my own. It will say whether I got it from Pinterest or whether it's my own photo that I've used. But yeah I've decided that I want to rely less on photos for inspiration because I always use Pinterest which is perfectly fine but as I'm drawing out my but as I'm drawing out my spreads I do just feel like I'm copying a lot of things and I do adapt them to make them my own but I don't think it's enough for it to be that noticeable I guess. Like if you go on my Pinterest you'll probably be able to find exactly which photo that I've painted this from because it looks pretty much the same. Apart from theirs is a lot better. <laughs> but yeah, um, I kind of want to Obviously I'll still use photos as inspiration but I do want to develop my own style and attempt to collect inspiration throughout the month whether that be people that I'm inspired by or events that have happened throughout the month, any quotes that I've picked up or just any particular styles that I've seen and liked. I want to spend a lot more time thinking about my designs and I don't know because when I make my bullet journals, well when I make my bullet journal spreads at the minute I just kind of draw it all out and do it all within a day. It's very much a case of, well, it's becoming a case of needing to do it rather than wanting to do it because I do draw out all my weekly spreads at the same time so that I can keep up with it and I just know that if I left it all and did it all as I needed it, so it's like if I drew the weekly spreads week by week I wouldn't keep up with it. So I do draw all my spreads out at the same time, um, but yeah it's becoming more of a chore just because I have to draw it all in a day and wait for the paint to dry, do the videoing, well the filming and all that kind of jazz. It takes a very long time so I kind of just want to make it more of an inspired thing so that I'm generally motivated to do it and I'm excited to do it rather than feeling like I need to do it because I need to get a video out within a certain time and I need to have all my spreads drawn in so that I can start planning next month, if that makes sense. 
As well as all this, I do really want to improve my bullet journal videos because as you'll see in I think it's in this upcoming part, it might be when I get to my weekly spreads. I am kind of struggling with the autofocus. I need to figure out if I can turn my autofocus on and off on my camera, which I'm sure you can. Well, I'm sure I can. But I don't know. I guess I just need to learn how to use this camera better because <laughs> I mean it happened then on the screen. Um yeah, it's I seem to forever have a battle of wanting to draw but then instead of it focusing on the page it focuses on my hand because that's the thing that's closest to the lens and yeah I need to figure out if I can stop that from happening but also with this angle it's just not very good when I'm writing titles because you can't see me actually drawing it you can see my hand moving and then there's suddenly a title there but you can't see the actual process of the writing which I feel like is probably the most satisfying thing to watch so it's a shame that you can't see it at the moment. So I kind of want to play around with angles some more because I just can't figure out the best way to make these videos. Obviously this overhead angle is brilliant for the sort of full spread overview so it's like I'd probably keep it for my title pages because you'd be able to see it all come together but when it comes to close-ups of me writing titles then I think I would switch to a different angle or I don't know I also just want to make it more aesthetically pleasing to watch because at the moment it's quite a lazy attempt it's just me filming myself drawing <laughs> I do want to make it more aesthetically pleasing to watch and just better put together in general. I don't know whether this is like really morbid, just me talking about like all the faults in this video but it's just my general reflections. Like I know it's not that bad of a video but it's just I know what I want to change in it and I'm having a ramble about that because that's what these videos are going to be now, it's just going to be any rambles about things that have happened this month and my thoughts so this is what's been going through my head lately. So as you can see I've moved onto the weekly spreads now and I do generally just use the same sort of photo layouts as usual and just add in some small doodles. I'm not very good at drawing small things. I don't know, I'm just not I'm not the best at art in general so it takes a lot for me to put together ideas and I do tend to like the collage look anyway so that is a lot of what you see in my bullet journal. I do definitely need to upgrade some of my supplies because using PVA glue is annoying me now. I'm fine with it like crinkling the pages or whatever but it just takes so long to dry so I kind of want to like pick up a print stick or something just so that it doesn't take as long <laughs> but yeah it takes me so long to put together spreads because I'm not that good at drawing so it's a case of me finding things that I might be able to draw or put together and then going from there really <laughs> if it doesn't work then I have to start again and I mean I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to things like this but I do still want it to look nice because it keeps me more motivated to sort my life out um, but yeah it's a tricky process but we'll see where we go I do quite like collecting quotes in a way in my bullet journal some of them are quite cringy but I don't know you just have to have them sometimes it does you I do use them as a kind of motivational boost like I'm kind of thinking about printing out some quotes or finding some postcard type things and decorating the area around my desk with them because I just think that quotes can be so inspiring in a way and I love having them in my bullet journal so that's why you didn't so that's why you tend to see my spreads decorated with them a lot. It just takes me a little while to find them because <laughs> it does just take me a little while to find them which is kind of why 
again linking back to what I said before about wanting to find inspiration throughout the month for my bullet journal rather than just doing it in a day. But yeah, I don't really know. I feel like this ramble is so mismatched and like not put together well at all, but yeah, hopefully it's just helping you see what sort of mindset I'm at with my bullet journal because it looks very put together when you see it on screen like this and you see me just like easily drawing it all in and putting it together but it's really not that well thought out at all so yeah we are moving on to the flip through now so this is the so this is all of the spreads complete uh, I actually really like how this turned out. I keep saying that like it's not perfect and I want to think it through more but that doesn't mean that I don't like what I've got. I do really like this, especially the title page because I didn't expect the watercolour to turn out that well. <laughs> but yeah, I'm especially loving the white pen that I'm using at the minute to kind of like highlight the titles when they're on the brown craft paper. Well, Primark bags that I use. <laughs> I don't buy craft paper, I just recycle like paper bags. But yeah. I do especially love like the little pumpkin doodle that I did for Halloween. But that's kind of past now. I think I might use more sketchy doodles in my December bullet journal spreads because I did one last year with like holly sprigs and berries and things like that and I really liked how that turned out. So I think I might try and incorporate something of a similar design for this year but we shall see because it's still like a month until then. <laughs> I'm thinking as well when it comes to these videos I might just film the more interesting parts of the design because like I said I do them all in one go as you can see and it's not very interesting to watch the same thing over and over again I don't think. So I do think that I'm just going to film the more interesting parts like the title page and any small doodles that I do or putting together of collages and then keep the more boring parts for the flip through, if that makes any sense. But for now, this is it for this video and I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you remember that you are incredible and yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye.